President Biden is in Arizona today to announce a massive eight and a half billion with a B dollar agreement with tech giant Intel. The investment through the president's Chips and Science Act is set to create tens of thousands of jobs across the country. Biden will be joined by Commerce Secretary Gina Raimondo, who recently spoke about the importance of the legislation. Everything is powered by semiconductors. Windshield wipers, phones, pacemakers, pretty much every piece of military equipment, they're everywhere and everything fundamental to our lives from the moment you wake up in the morning until the moment you go to bed. But now, on top of all of that, there's been a game changer in the demand for leading edge semiconductor chips. You all know what it is, AI. It takes tens of thousands of leading edge semiconductor chips to train a single large language model. The truth of it is, AI will be the defining technology of our generation you can't lead in AI if you don't lead in making leading edge chips. And so our work in implementing the CHIPS Act just got a whole lot more important. And this is why we've brought in Adrienne Elrod, because she worked for Gina Raimondo as the CHIPS lady, explaining the CHIPS and Science Act. And this investment specifically, Adrienne, what will it mean for the U.S. economy initially and long term? Yeah, Mika, it's hard to really underestimate how important today's announcement is. It's huge. This is a, an $8.5 billion investment in Intel. And by the way, this investment today that President Biden is announcing in Arizona will unlock $100 billion that Intel will be investing in the United States in terms of leading edge uh, logic domestic production uh, for over the next 10 years. So what's happening is there's four fabs that are being constructed in Arizona, New Mexico, Oregon, and, um, oh my gosh, I'm blanking on the other state, uh, <laughs> Ohio, sorry, where, where Senator Brown just was. So, so what is happening is Intel is building these fabs, and they are going to be manufacturing from start to finish. So a chip doesn't have to travel around the world to become a semiconductor. Mm. They're from start to finish going to, to manufacture here in the United States leading edge logic chips. This is a big deal because as Secretary Raimondo was just saying, we need these leading edge logic chips to power AI. If America is going to be a global leader in artificial intelligence, we have to produce these chips here at home. Right now, Mika, we produce 0% of the world's leading edge chips. By the end of this decade, Secretary Raimondo and President Biden made it very clear, we want to at least produce 20% of those chips. Uh, this is going to get us there. This is a huge deal. I actually think, you know, Mika, when we look back at President Biden's legacy, this may be, the Chips and Science Act impl implementation may be one of the top accomplishments of his administration because of the long-term effects this is going to have on America's economy and, and the fight for, you know, global market share of AI production. Um, and also, by the way, this is going to create 30,000 jobs. 10,000 of those will be manufacturing jobs. 20,000 will be construction. And again, this $8.5 billion investment that the United States government is making in Intel will catalyze mm. $100 billion that Intel is, is um, investing in their own domestic manufacturing. So, Adrian, John certainly Norman. being able to do this here in the United States, that's a supply chain issue. That's a national security issue. It's an yep. economic issue, as you just mentioned, with the jobs. And, of course, it is a political issue. Uh, and it should be noted that of the four states where this, uh, the construction is uh, occurring, President Biden chose to announce it in Arizona, which, of course, is a battleground this November. So talk to us a little bit about that, if you will, the pitch here that this is part of that Arizona was really close last time. The president, now president, was able to swing it. Aides say it's probably going to be a little tougher this time around. Talk to us about the politics of Arizona, which includes a real focus there on the Latino vote. Well, absolutely. And, and in uh, Lemire, Arizona, of course, also happens to be one of the largest um, chip producing states in the country. You've got a lot of uh, TSMC is building out a huge fab there, two huge fabs there. Obviously, Intel is building out a fab. So there is a reason beyond politics to invest there and, and talk about, you know, why President Biden is going there. It, there is a reason for that. But yes, Arizona is a critically important state. And here's a president who is going to the state and saying, not only, um, you know, did I say that I was going to uh, you know, create more jobs as president, but I'm actually delivering on that promise. I'm going into the state. I'm talking about the jobs that I'm creating. Um, 
And again, Arizona is a huge technology hub on a number of fronts. But when it really comes to being the next, making sure the United States can be the next leader in semiconductor production, a lot of that is happening in Arizona. So, you know, it happens to be, I would say, an ancillary benefit of President Biden's work and his work to make sure that he's creating jobs and that we are getting the U.S. on track to be a leader in global semiconductor production. Uh, it just happens to be that, that Arizona is one of those states that has been leading on that. And because of what President Biden is doing, he's catalyzing that investment in Arizona uh, through the, the Chips and Science Act. Um, Adrian, what what comes next for, in, in this in, the, in this project? I mean, we have you have the, the they're announcing this. This is going to be underway. What kind of timeline is it? Um, what kind of timeline is it on? When do jobs come online? The kinds of the kind of details that are going to matter uh, for voters, particularly between now and uh, you know November. Yeah, and it's a great question, Jen, because, of course, some of these investments that we're making in the semiconductor uh, manufacturing base here in the United States, some of those jobs will be immediate. Some of them will not come until later on. But I think in terms of the very near future, a lot of these construction jobs that are being created um, are, are, are new jobs. Um, when you see these large-scale fabs that are being built out, and by the way, a fab, pardon my um, acronyms here, but a fab is basically a factory where you make semiconductors. Uh, TSMC in Arizona, Intel in Arizona, Intel in Ohio, um, Samsung in, in Texas. There's so much uh, capacity that is being created right now to build chips, and that, that capacity is adding more construction jobs to the market, to the, to the labor force. And I think something that's really important, Jen, to focus on here is that President Biden, with his leadership, is really reimagining what industrial policy looks like. You know, President Biden always talks about having a job with dignity, a job that you, you, you can really invest your time in, that you feel good about what you're doing at the end of the day. And, you know, because of the manufacturing loss of jobs over the past, you know, decade or two in the United States, uh, a lot of people are working in jobs where, you know, maybe their, their skills are not being full, fully utilized, or they're working in jobs, you know, maybe they were working at an auto plant and now they're working at um, a department store. So what we're looking at here is getting people back into jobs where their skills can really be effectively utilized. Um, and these are also good paying jobs. A lot of these jobs don't require a college degree. A lot of them just require a little bit of job training. Uh, so I think, again, when you look at the long term benefits here, uh, this is going to be one of President Biden's biggest legacies. And it's going to get people back to work in jobs that they can be really excited about. Adrian Elrod, thank you so much for filling us in on this. We'll be watching today. Thank you.